Hey everybody, David here, and today I am at the Toronto Zoo. Uh, this is one of the most popular zoos in North America, and they're celebrating their 50th anniversary this uh, year. So this is going to be a fun, and me and Kevin, we're going to have a little bit of fun by playing a game. Right, Kev? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you see Kevin there? I can't see Kevin there. But anyways, uh, we're going to play a game where we're going to you know, name a movie that each animal is in, or a show. Uh, but here's the catch. Um, we can't pick the same movie or show um, again, so we're gonna make a game out of it. They're doing some construction here. Um, yeah, it looks different than the last time we were here. A lot of construction. So they really are doing a lot of construction here. It's like so unrecognizable right now. It's not even funny, but uh, look, there's a Tim Hortons. So that's good. I can't start off my day without a Tim Hortons coffee. Look at Kevin having his Tim Hortons coffee and a bagel. Kevin, what's in that bagel? Huh? What's in the bagel? Tofu. No, 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 no. That looks like bacon. No, it's not. Are you an animal in the zoo? Sure, why not? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the Toronto Zoo is one of the largest uh, zoos in Canada, maybe even in North America. Uh, it is uh, about 710 acres long, so that is really big. Um, it, it, it opened in 1974, hence why they're celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. Uh, to be specific, August 15th, 1974. Uh, also, it is the home of over 5,000 animals. That is crazy. I actually never thought about that before, how many animals were here. And that's more representing more than 500 species from around the globe. That's crazy. Uh, it is also known to have a unique biodome design. They separate all the animals in separate areas of the park, some of them representing Indo Malaya, Africa, Americas, Tundra, tundra Track, uh, Australasia, Eurasia Wilds, and the Canadian Domain. So that's uh, just some interesting tidbits uh, for those. So if you want to go spe see specific animals, for an example, the lion would obviously be in Africa, the polar bear is in the Tundra tr Track, uh, flamingos are in Americas. Uh, the grizzly bear is in the Canadian domain. Uh, the tiger is temporarily in the Eurasia wild. So, it, like, you can look at this map here, and they show all the. There, there's even a discovery zone. I think that's more for the kids. But then there's also all these other um, locations. Kevin loves the tiger, and uh, yeah, there you go. And we're going to start with Indo. Uh, Indo Malaya first. We're gonna start there first because apparently the route to go to Africa after is closed. So they're either recommending to go to Indo uh, Malaya first or last. So we're gonna start with it first because it's isolated from everything else. And then we're gonna go up to Aus Australia Asia and work our way um, around <laughs> and then go back home afterwards. So there you go little gift shop over there and we also got the carousel working over there nobody's on the carousel it's just empty right now that looks like a pretty cool carousel though so here we go it no malaya first well, we got a sleeping lemur here <laughs> look at that little guy main star right there okay kevin so what movie do you know that this animal is from really <laughs> I, I'll I, give you a hint. I you got to move one. it, move it. No. You got to oh. move it, move it. Uh, Come on, I'm man. Forgetting the name of the movie. You don't know that animal? I'm forgetting the name of the movie. Madagascar. Yeah. Other one oh, right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Their eyes are so beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure what animal this is, but uh, it, I thought it was the rhino area. I think it's Pumba. Pumba. <laughs> Well, we gotta find out what animals so we know for sure. It looks like a Pumba. I mean, I mean, is that a warthog? It looks like a warthog, but I thought I remember the rhinos being in this area. 
No, it just shows rhino. Man. Yeah. Oh, that's a baby rhino. No, but the horns are coming out of its mouth. That's why I'm thinking it's a warthog. Um, we gotta know what animal it is before we decide to do this game. <laughs> but there, there, <laughs> there is a rhino over there. Okay, we said rock steady, but what movie is that? Uh, There's a punching bag in there. No, use a movie. Why? I'm using a show. Movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. Fuck. There you go. It's even the live action one. If you want to feel what a rhino's bum looks like, um, feels nice and rubbery. Here's a nicer okay. shot. Maybe this is a baby rhino. They just don't have the horn yet. I don't know. It's, a, it's some sort of animal. We can't guess this one. We don't know if it's a warthog or a rhino. So Maybe somebody in the comments can uh, <laughs> figure it out for us. The one inside is a rhino. Yeah, that it's one I know was a rhino. Yeah, but which one? We Teen. said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. Hey, little buddy. Eat that grass. Eat those leaves. Eat it. Pull it. Come on. Just scared the freak out of me, man. Look at that face. I think he wants to kiss. I'm liking this area though. Looks really, uh, uh, like, what? So hard to tell yeah. if that's the. Right you think that's it? It looks like it because it doesn't have a branch connecting to it. Uh, that's so hard to tell. <laughs> Okay, so we are inside the Indo Malaysia area pavilion. So, uh, orangutans that way. We're going. We're, we're going into the ground game. Oh, look at that bird! You are a movie star, baby. I like this. That's beautiful. This is why we excluded fish from this game and birds, because, uh... Nemo. Where? There's no Nemo. Okay, so we got a turtle here. Kevin. Michelangelo. There's a couple, there's a couple of turtles here. I see... Wait, how many turtles do we have here? If we have four, it will be perfect. Oh, uh, no, I see more. I, I see more than four, yeah. There's one there. There's... I think those are some baby ones, too. A mother with their babies? Aw, that's so cute. And then one over there. So, what movie do you know with turtles, Kevin? Come Michael. On. No, 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 no. Name the movie, not the turtles. Yeah. No. Tim. Teenage. The first Which movie. one? The first one. That's not what it's called. The first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. There you go. Oh. Well, That's because there TMNT. is no, because there is a Ninja Turtles movie called TMNT, okay. which was an animated movie. Okay, you get it. But that's Michael from the first one. Which one? That's Michelangelo? Yeah, that's Michelangelo. Okay. That's Donatello. Oh, I didn't even re realize that one. From uh, Secret of the Use. Secret of the Use turtle. Okay. There's another one there, actually, beside it. You didn't even realize it. There's two turtles right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's not there. Okay, so that would be... They look the same. Yeah, fine. They're the same. The big one over there. Yeah. Is Leo. Ooh, Leonardo? From uh, Google TM19. Okay. No, they're all from the same turtle. The turtle is a turtle. It doesn't matter which. No, you can't cheat like that. These no, turtles are from one movie, except for the female one with the kids. That's Venus de Milo. Okay, that's from the show, live action show. <laughs> and she has kids. Who's the father? Oh, maybe Leonardo. It was totally Leo. They both wear blue. Oh, uh, look at that! Ew, nightmares. It's sleeping. Can you imagine if it wakes up? I'd freak out so badly. It's uh, it just says giant snakes. It's not giving us a specific. Oh wait, um, reticulated python. Okay, I, I know an animal. What movie? I know what movie. What movie? Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I I should be writing these. Voldemort, things. I believe, is a python. Look at that little guy right there. 
I know what movie that's from. I know what movie that's from. It's like Hyena's little box, man. What animal are you picking for the orangutan? I already know. I was gonna say Jungle Book or something. Oh man. Okay, what? that's fine. No, what movie? I was gonna say one of the Apes movies. Oh, the Apes. Yeah, the newest one. No, you already put Jungle Book. No, no, Too late. No, I no, choose no, that no, one. no, 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 no. Too the late. Which anime? Which Jungle Book are you picking? Fine, the old cartoon. The the old one, the original, 1967. Okay. Oh, look at the little guy. in his little box. Kevin just pointed out to me this little guy here. Look at him. He's like po poking his head out of the water. Hi, little guy. I see that little guy hiding all the way in there. Look, that's the crocodile lizard for sure. Look at the way he's staring at me. Look at those. He knows he's a movie star. He's gonna be on YouTube. That turtle is like looking at the Mante painting. He's like, is this real? Where am I right now? So, uh, now they're holding construction workers in the zoo. So if you want to see those animals, where are those people from? Humans. No, hold on. I was joking. Zombie land. <laughs> oh, zombie land, okay. Yeah. Wow. It's hiding behind the Look how big that beak is, man. Wow, look at that. Come on. Come out to the camera, buddy. Oh, oh, okay, we can't get it. Oh, there. That's a good shot. Look at that. That's the horn thing. Wow. That's a weird beak. <laughs> I was gonna say what movie do you know that from, but uh, it's not the kind of hornbill that I recognize. So for the hornbill, I was going to say a Lion King movie, but then I realized Zazu doesn't really look like that kind of a hornbill, so we decided to skip that one. Going by the carousel, and uh, there's a lot more people on it right now. This is small little part of me that wants to go on the carousel right now. It looks like a really nice carousel. I do have a gift shop here, but uh, we'll check it out later. I don't know if it's even open yet right now, but uh, yeah, we'll, if it's open later, we'll see, we'll see what's in there. We got some goats right here. Look at that one up there, just munching, munching on some grass right there. It's just like enjoying life. Yum yum yum. Movie? Are you the going new Disney for? movie? Uh, with what, the star. What Disney movie with the star? Oh, um, Zootopia? No. Which one? With the star? Oh, um, Wish. Wish. Disney's Wish. There you go. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. Maybe I don't know if that was the same type of goat, but I mean, it looks the same with the floppy ears, specifically that one. Okay, I don't know if it, it is, but fine, we'll go with it. This is the Discovery Zone right here. I believe this is where kids can come and play. I believe it's like a, a playground type of park. Go to the Toronto Zoo's website, you can see wild encounters where they're having close encounters with special animals at certain times throughout the week and day. And, um, yeah, I, I was thinking of seeing the kangaroo, but, uh, they cost separate from the actual park ticket, so you would have to pay an additional price. So the kangaroos, for an example, was $45. Meerkats was like $25. So just know that, that if you want to see the wild encounters where you get to spend like half an hour or 20 minutes or something to see specific animals, it's an extra price. And I believe you can even feed the animals, but they also warn that it depends on how the animal is feeling. Oh, that big bird. Do you know what animal that's from? Or movie? <laughs> what? You said big bird. So I was, it's, 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 I was gonna say the Lion King. I think they're the first animals you see in the beginning. What? What is this? You get to go inside a little cave? 
Get out of here. Kids zone, but it's a pretty cool kids zone. Never mind. Like, look, it's like a fort in here and everything. Jeez, if I was a kid, I'd be in heaven right now. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if I can zone in on where he is, but maybe the sun's in the way. Maybe there's an owl in there. He's slipping. As you can go into caves. Man, never mind. This is a pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, I'm going inside. I have to put my head down or else I'm going to bang it on the roof here. Uh, yeah, I can fit. <laughs> there we go. Sandbox for the kids. Oh, leopard on the loose. Smaladin? Smaladin. I think it's a saber tooth tiger. Ice Age. Plane there. Someone landed and just left it there. Oh, but it looks like they're filling up on gas, so... That's good. Got a lizard here. We are entering entering uh, the Australasia pavilion. These feathers are beautiful. What's a movie you can name with peacocks, Kev? Huh? Lord of the Rings. What? <laughs> I don't know. Actually. That's a beautiful feather. The feathers, though. Look at that. I want to see it open it up, though. Hello, buddy. Yeah, there it is. Oh, why did you put your feathers down? Don't you want to be a star for YouTube? That sounded like the bird from Up, Kev. Do you know what animal, what movie features this animal? Not one? No, no. I can't think. Kung Fu Panda 2. Oh, The villain. That's why. Voiced by Gary Oldman. That's why. I, I don't remember that movie. Well, you should watch the Kung Fu Panda movies again. Oh, uh, look how beautiful those feathers are, man. Hey, you have a beautiful tail. This little thing scared me right here. Oh my goodness, I am so freaked out. If I encountered this guy in the wild, just hanging there like that, they like blend in, eh? even like small ones hanging around. Look at the small ones. Beautiful looking bird right there. There's some lizards here. Uh, two of them. That's a really nice color. Look at that. Look at this. These guys. There's two of them right here. Look at those beady eyes. So yellow. Wow. They have beautiful eyes. And everybody's getting this in 4K. I'm surprised the lizards and the snakes don't fight. Who is the control of... Oh, they separated them. I just noticed the... I just noticed the... It looks like one of those chocolate frogs from uh, the Harry Potter movies. Pretty sure that yellow one was from Finding Nemo. Look at these tiny seahorses. Literally, look how tiny compared to my hand. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Some more seahorses here. Oh, maybe, maybe he's getting up. Maybe he's just over. There we go. I think they just grab off. This is the one that wants to be on camera. I believe the seahorses, it's the males that get pregnant. That's what I heard. Jellyfishes. Okay, I think we can lump Nemo. all these animals here. Finding Nemo and the little Nemo. These ones specifically Finding Nemo. Because uh, Dory's got to bounce on the jellyfish. That's scary. They give them a cool background, though. It's all dark and everything. Because I guess that's where they go, right? Oh, if you look carefully, you can see my red beam of light. It's the kangaroos. They were just being fed. One of them. All, oh, just went to sleep right now. It's like, I don't want to be on camera right now. There's one. 
He has his back turned to me. Oh, there's a baby there, too. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my goodness. Uh, even the mama's got to eat. Mm -hmm. What animals are you picking with kangaroo? What? Bugs Bunny's a bunny, not a kangaroo. No, the oh, the Looney Tune kangaroo. The one that yeah. usually fights Sylvester? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Entering the Amor Tiger Territory. La la la. So, there are supposed to be some tigers in this park? He Kevin? doesn't want to be fed. He wants to hunt. Maybe we should throw you in there. We found the tiger. He's upset and he doesn't want to be in the cage today. So Kevin, what, what movie? <laughs> Jungle. Well, I see Jungle Book, that's a good one. Shere Khan. I think he's a little upset. He keeps pacing back and forth. Usually when they do that, they're upset. Either that or he's bored. Yeah, so uh, we're giving up on the <laughs> one movie per animal. We're just saying, eh, as long as they're from that movie, that's all that matters. No! We are over here. Thankfully, the zoom quality is really good. But I wanted in my naked eyes to view him. Humans. I eat the humans. Yum, yum, yum. It's like he knew I was filming, so he's like, nope. Fine then. We're Bloody going savage. to. Let's get out of here. Yep. Me and the tiger are getting a divorce. Whoa. This is the area where the red pandas were. But apparently, um, due to the weather, they do not have them out in the exhibit right now. But obviously the red panda comes from oh. Pixar's turning red. Uh, red pandas have access to their indoor habitat and may not always be viewable. Okay. Camels. Kevin, what movie has camels in it? Do you remember? Indiana Jones? Ooh. Uh, do they? I don't remember. But I was going to say Aladdin. Aladdin has camels. They even include them in the Prince Ali song. Yeah. I'm surprised you forgot about that one. No, You're I not think thinking of animated movies. No. You're a bad person. Yeah. Racist against animation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Says the guy. Says the, uh, I the love actor animation. versus the uh, Don't even get me started. Yeah, but I'm saying you the don't actor even, versus the You don't even draw animated. You do comics. It's yeah, a difference. We'll see here. They're calling this a dream home. How much do you think this house is on the market for? Oh wait, they actually have a table? A table and everything in here? It's like someone can actually live in here. Wow. They even have a bed? They have a gym. Food? They have everything. How, how much do you think this is on the market for? One billion. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is called a Canadian geese. No. Now, you can see these guys anywhere in Canada. Uh, but Only in zoos. Uh, but, so, you guys don't even need to pay for the Toronto Zoo to see these guys. Just go anywhere in Canada and you'll find them. Sometimes they go to Florida and California also. We've seen them there. Even though I said birds don't count, there is a movie with Canadian geese. Do you remember what it's called? No. Sure, no. It's called Fly Away Home. It's an old. I don't think I've seen that one. It's an old movie. I forgot who's in it, but uh, I think Jeff Bridges. I don't remember who was in it, but Dennis Quaid. I I can't remember. Either way, it's a Canadian thing. It takes place in Canada. 
I'm just distracted by the camels. Old footprints that used to be on the ground that they don't really take care of anymore. <laughs> it's like, eh. I remember that was the fun thing, is like looking at, at the footprints on the ground and then following it to the next big animal. Kind of wish they would bring that back. It's a falcon. Is it? That's what it says over there, falconry. No, on that side. Oh, it's a sea eagle? Okay. I just saw the falcon there, and, but that makes sense. That looks more like an eagle. What movie has an eagle? Oh, yeah. Showboating. So, sea eagles, those ones in particular, not to be confused with seagulls. <laughs> Kevin was doing mine. Um, are not specific to movies. They've only been in documentaries like uh, Blue Earth and uh, stuff like that. I checked it up on Chet GPT and yeah, I can't remember those type of eagles anywhere specific. Some Billy Goat Gruffs over Billy here. Goat. They don't want to be fed. They or alpacas, hunt. I don't know. What these, uh, goats or, I, I, we're just gonna call them goats. And I, I believe there's goats because the horns look like the one in Zootopia. Look, that one is rubbing against that one's butt. He's like, you wanna fight? Nah, not today. I like the baby one. So beautiful. I want one of them to ram into the zookeeper over there. Just for jokes. I don't want the guy to get hurt. I just want for jokes. <laughs> look, look at the size of those things. Okay, not by the big one, but the small ones. Asian wild horse down there. But he's showing, that's what it says. But they're showing, he's only showing his butt right now. There's the butt of the horse. Oh yeah, look at that. That's life up there. They give them a cool area to play in, eh? The mountains, I love it. So, we got a dinosaur here, but it's been long dead. So, that's as far, that's as much as you're gonna get from a dinosaur. Kevin, what movie does dinosaurs come from? What movie oh, features oh, the dinosaurs? There's a lot of them. Lion King. King. <laughs> Jurassic, no, Jurassic Park. Thank you. Guys, let's hope the, the polar bears are swimming because uh, we could get something cool here. This is the underwater view. Sadly, the polar bears are not seen down there. So we're going to try up. So we found some polar bears. There's one sleeping over there. Look at the little guy. Hey, maybe not that one. But he's sleeping. Oh, yeah. 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 Just now. Ooh, he is so happy. There's one. Oh no, he's camera shy. Oh man. Got one sleeping over here. He's tired. Yeah. He's sleeping out. And then there's that one. There's the wolves. They're all sleeping, huddling together. Oh, actually, no, there's a couple of them that are not huddling. They're like, I want to get away from my pack. They're not part of the pack. They're not part of the pack. Not the pack. So what, what movie features wolves? Don't pick the same movie. Polar bears will say Zootopia. Remember that the bodyguards of the oh, little yeah. mole rat? I don't know. Wolves. Come on, man. There has to be a movie with wolves. We'll use the Jungle Book again. Jungle, Jungle Book. Okay. <laughs> the cool little thing. It's a polar bear made out of plates and plastics. Cool way to like, I guess, recycle, reduce, reuse, right? There's even some golf balls. Oh, this is, wow. Talk about art. This is the home of the capybara. The capybara? Where are the capy, we have a nice location for the capybara. No, it's for the moth. Where's the capybara? 
I don't know, but they have a really nice location here. I love the falls and everything. Okay, Kevin wanted me to film the parrots. Yes, you did. What movie features a parrot? A lot of. Oh, if you didn't get that one, I would have. Guys, you can come up and see the falls. Look at this. It's the backside of water! See that? I made a Jungle Cruise reference for you Disney nerds out there. High five. Oh, I like it. Yep. And then we got uh, some flamingos down here. Do you know what movie? Do you know any movies they're from? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I was going to say Fantasia. And where's their face? Oh, hiding under the... For the record, uh, the Fantasia movie I was talking about was Fantasia 2000, not the original one. I don't even remember if they were in the original one. I just know they were in Fantasia 2000. You got a better look at a roof. Got a sloth. see? little monkey there. Come on, we speeding me. From uh, Zootopia. Okay, good. I know he was that. Call him Sloth. I didn't know they were such good climbers, but it makes sense, I guess. With those claws, yet. Yeah. Uh, thought they'd be slower. There's that little beauty over there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Right over here. Dun dun dun. Those black beady eyes. So black and beady, man. Look at these guys. Oh, there's a sloth in here, too. But it's in that stomach. I was gonna say the little bit, but did then I realized that's a crab. Oh. Did you hear what I said though? What? Well, it wants to go in that stomach. Well, there's a scene where Tom Hardy, I think, jumps in with lobsters and venom. There we go, venom. Stingray. Stingray. And the starfish? Wow. That's a different type of starfish. Both from Finding Nemo. <laughs> it's a crocodile. A crocodile or an alligator? But it's sticking its head up. It's like, who do I want to eat today? Help me! Help me! I'm almost there! I'm almost there! Oh no! You fell all the way back down. So many turtles! Oh my goodness! Look how tiny they are! There was one more over there. I don't know where they are. But that one is so little! Oh no! Help me! Just united. Uh, friends again. And then there's that little guy over there. By himself. He's the one that doesn't want to go swimming. Wait a minute, we got we got four four turtles here? Five. Yeah, but these are the these are the four that are here. We don't talk about the four. We talk about the four. Exactly. Something about the Toronto Zoo is that it is very big, so there is a lot of walking to do. So if you are somebody that doesn't enjoy walking, be prepared for some long treks. 
Oh, is that why? The mist? It's like they're praying to their gods. I want the mist. Oh, maybe it's dinner time. Oh, here's somebody in there. They're all lining up for lunch. Happy feet. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's like it's a party over here, man. This is where the buffet is going to be happening. To Kisho Park. Not to get confused with Jurassic Park. There's some bowls over there. I don't know what they're called. Um, we're going to pretend those are the bulls that killed Mufasa. It's all their fault. Kevin and I are taking a little detour. We're going to the Canadian domain first and then we're... <laughs> and then we're going to go to Africa right after. Uh, only because Kevin says, um, Canada, you have to make a turnaround anyways. Like this, we go to kick the Canadian domain first and then we go through Africa and then we can go home right after so there's our plan this is what I hate about the Canadian one is that this is the one where it's easy to go down because you're going down a hill but then you have to it feels like you're climbing back up a mountain on the way back oh, it even says right there. steep hill yeah uh, I forgot this area we got the big cat sleeping in its bed oh look at it I want one. <laughs> the pretty kitty. No, no, tries. This is the home of the bears. You know why? Because they have a shrine made to them. Okay, so we're at the grizzly bear area. Um, I don't see no bear anywhere. So far, a lot of the Canadian animals. I'm not moving all... any further. Oh, yeah. Here's an animal. <sighs> It's not a bear, it's a Kevin. I'm not moving any further until I had a breather. Don't feed the an don't feed the Kevins. Yeah. Kevin just spotted the grizzly bear. It's hiding from us. Look at him all the way down there. That son of a bitch. Oh shoot. I apologize for swearing, but come on, Pooh Bear. Kevin, what movie features a grizzly bear? What's Pooh Bear? No, it's not Pooh Bear. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Brother Bear. Oh. Uh, I, see? I, 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 and that was a Disney movie that took place in Canada. I, don't forget I, I that one. I remember that one. Underrated Disney film. Just walking through a trail. It's a nice little pond here. Sometimes you just get out and enjoy nature. And I mean, we got animals at the zoo, so this is the best in nature that you can get. We have been trapped in the forest for so many years. I'm growing a beard already. Kevin's growing a beard. We don't know where we are anymore. It's as big as Gimli's beard. God, please help us. Please. Looks like the bear is out and about. Oh, look at it. See, now that was a good view of the bear. We had to walk all the way around the back, and then the bear said, Okay, now you can see me. He is out and about, just ready for his close up. Look at that. I want to be on YouTube. So, we saw some of the Canadian animals, some of them were hiding doesn't matter uh, we now have to climb up a big mountain to get back to Africa and then, long trail. and then we're done this is the big mountain it's like we're climbing Mount Everest over here uh, <laughs> I <wouldn't go> <laughs> look this is the only thing I don't know what climbing Mount Everest is like but I'll say this much it's definitely for me this is what it is yeah, coming to the Canadian domain this is the sucky part about this area. I don't blame people if they don't want to come to this area. Although I will say the grizzly bears are kind of worth it, especially when they show up. We got up the mountain finally, and now we're going to our final destination, Africa. Yeah.
That guy is big. What movie is the hyena in? Oh. Come on. Tiger. There are three of them. Uh, fighting. Tiger King? The Lion King. <laughs> the lion sleeps tonight. How come whenever we come to the zoo, the lions are always sleeping? Wrong answers only. What movie is the lion seen in? Oh. Oh, they got Batman. For it. Ba yeah. The lion. The lion. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> the correct answer, by the way, was the Lion King, Kevin. Oh! It's not Batman. Thank <laughs> you. Practically. I just noticed they put all the Lion King characters together. But it might be to do with the. They're all in Africa. Yeah. I don't think it was purposely done. Right? No, she shouldn't be. Okay. How come you didn't come see the ostrich? Too squishy. Me? What? Too squishy. Too so that, yeah, you know what? They should have made it. They should have made the view better. So, what movie does an ostrich appear in? I mean, you could say The Lion King. Oh. I was gonna say Fantasia. In the first Fantasia, this one I know for sure because they're dancing with the crocodiles and the hippos. Oh, uh, I forgot. You've never seen Fantasia, have you? No, I have, but it's long. It's been a long time. I'm disappointed in you, actually. When we saw the rhino, you could have said Ace Ventura when Nature Calls. Oh. Specifically when yes, Jim yes, Carrey yes, comes yes. out of the rhino's butt. You got a better view of the baboons. Oh, that one. Just chilling on the rock. He's over there. Oh, there he is, yeah. Look here a little bit. There he is. Go ahead. He's looking. Oh. oh. Right, better view. Let's go over there. Oh. Let's come to the outside part. Yeah, yeah, let's go closer. Come here. It's not as fast as I thought he would be. We got a zebra. Is a zebra a horse with black stripes or white stripes? Both. Age-old question. Kevin beat it. Yeah. Kevin and I stopped playing the, the movie game because we realized all the animals in the Africa section are just from The Lion King, so we would just be using The Lion King so many times. Game's over. I won. This is the closest to a Disney reference you'll get at the Toronto Zoo. We got the Simba Safari Lodge. Um, Simba, obviously, the main character in The Lion King. And for those of you that like uh, alcohol, they have a cocktail bar right here. Simba cocktail bar. We got, we got a rhino. Different from the one we saw this morning. Um, I think we lost at one one animal. But whatever. We suck at this whole game. Oh yeah. yeah. I think this was the one from Zootopia that I was thinking of. I was thinking of the singer, the dancing animal. It's like mocking Britney Spears at the end. Got a hippo. Yeah. What? Eating right now. Sorry. What? The the pygmy. Yum yum yum. Looks delicious. It's more terrifying the lion or this? Uh, they say the hippo has killed more people than any other animal, so I would be terrified of this guy. Although the lion is pretty fierce, also. You've seen those videos where, like, the hippos run after like boats and stuff? Those are terrifying, man. I'm telling you. Dun dun dun! Wow! Look at that shot. That's so cool. There, we found a we found an actual warthog now. It's actually Pumbaa. It's an actual Pumbaa. Hakuna Matata. Wow! 
It's funny how iconic the Lion King has made a lot of the African animals. <laughs> oh wow. Look at this. These giraffes. Some nice little merch around throughout the park, just in case people want to buy anything. Shirts, hats, toys, everything. Look at the gorilla sleeping. Look at the little guy. Showing his butt right to the camera. Here's another one. He's sleeping upside down. I think so. Looks like he had. Looks like he had a hangover. The gorilla. For the gorilla, I'm gonna say Planet of the Apes because you're terrible for some reason with recent movies. I just noticed this park here for kids to play in. This looks like one of the most coolest parks ever. If I was a kid, man, I would love it. And now, just before we leave, we decided to go check out the Zootique gift shop. This is the main gift shop in the Toronto Zoo. Make your own uh, coins here. Ooh, the gift shop. Look at these, we got little toys here. Giant stuffed giraffe animal. Well, I don't think you can buy that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I see. Wild animal. Animal, uh, yeah, approach with caution. Got it. He might bite your head off. Little merch. Cups, hats, shirts, all the usual stuff. Gotta have some candy. Tiger one? Or the cheetah one? That one actually has the cheetah on it, eh? But the tiger is your animal. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not gonna get it. All the little stuffed animals here for the little kitties. Maybe I should buy my nephew one. What is this? The kids today don't know what this is. A yo yo. Oh wow. They have names on it and everything? Yeah, but it's not K E V E N. Is there David though? David's a more popular name. Devin. David's gone. David's gone. Cooper, what are you doing here? Okay, so these are collectible coins. Uh, like if you guys went to Disneyland, they were celebrating the 100th anniversary, right? Yeah, I don't need the camel. So now they're gonna... supposed to suck now. So you get three of them for ten dollars. Which one? I got, um, let's see here, we got the red panda, got it? Yep. We got the rhino. And we got the giraffe here. And you can also get a camel. Guys, that's it. We are done at the Toronto Zoo. We are heading back home. And uh, it's been a long day. We've been here for like almost five hours. So we got here at nine. I think it's almost, it might be almost 2.30. So uh, yeah, we've been here for a good amount of time, man. Uh, it's 2.30 right now, so there we go. We, we've been here for a good amount of time. We're ready to go back. We saw everything. Um, and with that being said, until next time, take care.